Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, another player review. And we've been smashing those out in this Future Stars player review. Not sure how this one's gonna go, but we're gonna try our best. And the new player it is, is actually Tomiyasu. Uh, he has come out uh, today. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. We've not really played any foot champions, which is a shame, but I'll probably play another game. Might play a few games later on today as well, but we'll see how that goes, if that's gonna happen or not. But right now let's go and create a team or, or sort out a team a little bit because we do need to work out how we're gonna play this guy um because david will become will go back on to seven chemistry which is a bit of a shame but i'm sure we can work something out um in, in, in okay so all we're gonna do is gonna just switch everything to from one side to another and then we're gonna in game we're gonna switch it up a little bit but we're gonna try out Tomiyasu and uh, Tomiyasu looks like a really nice card actually medium high attacking defensive work rate he's six foot two with a five star weak foot I uh, bought him for 137,000 coins I do feel like I'm gonna lose some coins on him because he's a bit expensive for this kind of card agility wise is 85 and balance is 85 so he could be a decent um, center back um, stamina 90 strength 85 aggressions 80 so everything all around solid solid stats and um, decent attacking stats really good passing which is really good so i'm, I'm excited to see what I, we can do with this player no traits from it uh, but yeah it looks like a very very solid card and i'm actually excited to try him out because we don't have any arsenal players and it'd be nice to sort of see if, if we can actually get something into our team and work something out right so let's just get ourselves into foot champs game let's see what tomiyasu can do and let's see if he's any good tomiyasu straight on the ball on the ball is not the fastest not gonna lie i've not done the changes yet so uh, my, my team might be all over the place a little bit uh, but we'll, we'll we'll sort it out in a second uh, raheem sterling nice little move and we're gonna get ourselves uh, a corner where we can actually make some Okay, because of his passing, I'm going to try Tomiyasu uh, to do a cross for corners. Um, let's see how good he is. I don't think he's any good, but okay. I mean, the goalkeeper, you know, gets to the ball first. So nothing out of it, unfortunately. Sterling wins the ball, wins possession in a nice location, and then loses possession in a nice place, and then wins it back. So that's exciting. <laughs> Tomiyasu clears it up quite nicely. I mean... Um, Diallo done all, all of the work there I believe uh, but um, Tommy Asu still had to clear clear the ball and done a pretty simple straightforward pass, it, pass there so I mean nothing too exciting but that just did the job Kante obviously we know we shouldn't shoot with Kante but um, you never know no no sometimes you may you know get those lucky goals all right Tommy Asu he does have that freestyle week of skill moves, so you don't do any skills with Tomiyasu, uh, where he loses possession in a quite of a dangerous position, but we still managed to, to, to get it back. Tomiyasu, switch it across to Sterling, and I mean, it, it was okay, actually. We actually ne nearly got the ball into a very dangerous position, but, you know, the pass itself it just wasn't the greatest. That's not where we wanted to pass overall. Wow, what a goal scored by, I don't even know who scored that, but beautiful skill moves oh, by Zayic. Wow, beautiful, beautiful goal. I mean, he did go kind of past our defender, which is a bit glitchy, but um, very, very good goal by Zayic. And yeah, that's not a bad, a bad start from us. Um, you know, we're reviewing a defender as usual, and we are conceding nearly twice now. But Tommy Asu is quite difficult to actually get him into defensive positions right now because this guy is only going through the middle so it's quite difficult to get Tamiyasu um, you know doing some defensive duties I mean he's cleared it there like he's okay like it's 89 pace it doesn't seem like 89 pace if I'm honest with you guys it doesn't seem as fast as he should be but potentially one thing I do like about Tamiyasu and its card is because it's medium attack it or medium high defensive attacking work rates so as you've probably seen from a few clips already, um, not definitely not this one, uh, where the, the opponent had a shot and the goalkeeper parries it. He's there to sort of clear it up, which is, you know, clear up those rebounds, which is the most annoying goal, goal to concede. And I think that's because of his attack and defensive work rates. He's just more defensive fullback. <coughs> 
from the outside of the ball. Again, look at him. He is quite strong on the ball, which is nice. And, he, and his passing is really good, which is, I think he does put him ahead against a few players and that was a, a nice little run by Tomiyasu uh, passing to Sterling Raheem Sterling crosses it in and we unfortunately hit the post there so you know he does do have those good trades but I just feel like there are better players in the market for a lot cheaper than 130,000 coins would I pay 30k I think, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd consider 30 40 maybe 50k max but 137,000 um, is a lot of coins for an 86 rated right back who's not the fastest and and yeah that's just my opinion a very unlucky goal uh, I mean Bruno Fernandes shoots it hits the goalkeeper then hits him again and we actually managed to equalize it nothing to do with Tommy Asso, of course we did try and sort of force the ball to the right to try and get something from it uh, but luckily we just managed to get a bit lucky. Tommy Yasu, beautiful through ball to David, and David hits it, and unfortunately, goalkeeper saves it, and then he gets uh, and then parries it away for for a rebound as well. So we did have a chance there, but I get nothing from it. Let's go. There we go. A, a bit of an ugly goal again. Two ugly goals to actually take the lead. Uh, David with the goal, and uh, we are winning two one. Um, like I said. This player, this doesn't seem the greatest. You know, we had the most of the possession there. And I've, since since we changed formation, just things were just working, go, currently going our way. Uh, hopefully we'll stay that way. And hopefully we can get this win. But we'll see how, how the rest of the game goes. Tomiyasu. Big shot, okay. He's just gonna tackle us, that's okay. Okay, the one time Tomiyasu went out of his position where, where we tried to score, that time they actually scored um, a very easy goal from that right hand side uh, where Tommy Yasu is playing. So that's uh, it's unfortunate because he kind of goes down on his, you know, his mistake really. Tommy Yasu again, like what's going on? I can't get this pass off to David with Tommy Yasu. What a goal to concede at the end there. I do believe Tomiyasu could have done a lot better in that position. And unfortunately, we're going to lose the game in a very annoying way. Uh, because we conceded the last minute goal. We could have went to penalties. And if I'm honest to you, conceding four goals when reviewing a defender is not the greatest. Um, I'm going to sound a bit biased. Yes, I do love Tomiyasu. Um, would I use this card in, in the game? Unfortunately, probably not. Um, even though he is not bad, he's not a bad player. Not a bad card at all. Just a, I do believe he does cost a bit too much. And if we quickly have a look at his card, what we've done today is, uh, you know, 6.3 rating, not the greatest. He had zero shots. He did have 24 passes with 75% and 22 dribbles with 86%. So, I only had one tackle, 100% tackle rate, and then one possession twice, lost possession five times. So it's, it's not a bad card. It's just, I think he's a bit too expensive. And so I bought him for 137,000 coins. Right now it's going for 120,000. So we did lose 17,000 coins on this card. And I do believe this card will carry on going, dropping down because it's just a bit, yeah, just I think there's, there's you know, Hakimi, there is Traore, there is obviously Carl Walker, there's just so many different cards that could be better than him, and they are better than him, and a lot cheaper. So, he's currently going for 115,000 coins, so I'm probably going to sell him for 110 and lose my money, but that's okay. I wanted to get this bit, you know, player review out for you guys, so you don't have to uh, spend your coins. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like make sure to subscribe make sure to share and as always it's been your boy pnt foot and i'll see you in the next episode peace